All right. So Nick Jones asked, I've got, I've very got a question for a video. Mac, what do you want this and all the other channels that you have to become in the future? Well, Nick, I want it to be as entertaining as it possibly can be for everyone who watches what we do. And it would be great if it could grow into something huge. Uh, obviously, nobody starts something in hopes that it fails. Everybody wants what they start to succeed. And that's exactly what I want for every channel that we have. I have a couple more channel ideas. Uh, House of Poosh, I've talked about it before. Um, and anything else that I do, anything that I create, anything I'm a part of, I'd love to share it with anybody who wants to see it. You know, if nobody wants to see it, nobody has to see it. But I want them to become as big as possible, and I want them to entertain as many people as possible. I've used other people's creations to help me out of situations and help me. Uh, they've, they've just helped me through situations in life. Comedy more so than most other things, more often than not, because just that release you know people are facing different things in their life a lot of people have shared it with me and the thing that strikes me deepest is when somebody says i had a really bad day it's so awesome to be able to see you you know be acting like a goofball that really is awesome to me that that does so much for me to hear that because that's why i did this i just that's all I want out of it. I don't want to become rich and famous. I know that Courtney has always told me, and a number of people have told me, stop talking about money. Stop talking about how much you don't want it. Sure, it could change, and I could want Ferraris and stuff, but I, you know, I seriously doubt it just because of who I am. Um, really, though, it just what I want this to be is just something cool. Something cool, something profitable enough to where we can keep our heads above water and the people who are working on this with me, I want them to have the nice cars and the nice houses and stuff like that. That way, they have the best job in the world. I, I love... It's always been a fantasy. To, I've had two fantasies. One is to... And you guys might have heard this before if you guys have seen all the vlogs from back in the day. But one of them is to live in a house where everybody gets along, everybody is a big, happy family. Never really had that until the house that we have now. And the other is, I've worked so many jobs that I've hated, hated so much, and I just want to provide jobs for people that don't suck, because jobs don't have to suck. Jobs can be great. And it just because I've been in those situations where got where jobs are great, and it just takes energy. It takes somebody leading the charge who doesn't have their head in the dirt, you know, who has their head up and is leading it the way that I think it should be led, which is with energy and passion. And I love is such a cheesy word to use for it, but understanding and you know just everybody having everybody being a part of the same thing, a family type of thing. So. That's why I want this to succeed as, as big as possible because of what it can offer for people on both ends of it. The people supporting it and the people who are just watching it because it's helped me a lot. I always used to uh, tell myself, and I still tell myself this about music sometimes, that I owe it to the music community, I guess you'd call it, to give something back for what the music community has given me, for all, what all my favorite artists have done for me. I owe it to the next person to entertain them, to give them that release because of what was given to me. And I don't want to be greedy and take it and not give anything back. You know, so that's why I want it to grow. But yeah, to answer your question most accurately, I just want them to entertain people. That's all I want. So, uh, I'm not sure if that was what you were looking for, but it's what you got. And uh, if there's anything, if there was another angle you were hoping that I would answer regarding this, uh, feel free to respond to this with a comment and just say, hey, but what about this side of it? Let me know. 
Um, oh, and with the Mac push side of things, so there's, that's the mood push side of things. With the Mac push side of things, the, where you're watching this video right now, I just I'd like to try to the same sort of thing in terms of inspiration. So many people have been there in my life to offer me a hand when I needed it, or to give me the words that. I always wish I could have heard sooner or the words that really help push me in a direction that I might not otherwise would have gone down without those words. I'm not trying to change any, well, if, if these videos, if my words change anybody's life, that'd be great, but I'm not trying to force anyone in a direction. All I will ever hope to do is offer different perspectives and then allow people to make up their own minds. That way, the decision was always theirs in the end. That's what I wanted that. I want much more out of the Mac Boost channel than I do out of the Mood Boost channel. Mood Boost channel, I love doing it. It's a great time. It's a great release for people. But as I've told somebody before, uh, that distractions are not solutions. Mood Boost is a distraction. Mac push is where I like to believe the solution is. Maybe that's a little pompous of myself to say or anything like that, but this is where I'd hope at least people would be able to find their own solutions. I'm not saying I have the right solution. I'm just saying I'm offering perspectives to where other people could possibly find their own solutions. But regardless, I hope everybody just stays pushy out there. <laughs>